the book of second Ezra, chapter 9 and verse 1 he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself and when thou seest part of the signs past which i have told thee before then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made uh, first and foremost, we want to start this lesson off by giving all honor, glory, and praises unto our power. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak Wadash. We want to give double honors to the head apostles, to the elders, bishops, and teachers of Great Millstone, GMS, who rule well and teach well across the four winds with sound doctrine, to the like minded brothers who are under the umbrella, the Akim who are pushing this word in truth and sincerity, all in one accord, risking their lives and freedoms to do so. Shalom. Shalom. Peace be unto you and your households. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, the house of David, the tabernacle of David, consisting of the 12 tribes of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Haitians, West Indians, Israelite foreigners who are scattered abroad, those who derive from the seed line of our forefather Jacob through Abraham and Isaac. You make up the 12 tribes of Israel that the Bible speaks of. May you seek repentance and salvation in these latter days. So, Shalom, Yasharala. Yeah, that's the brother Nathan here. And this is brother Benah. Yeah, got a, just linking up for a little uh, joint uh, laptop lesson, you know, hopefully it's edifying to the body, you know, just bringing out a few uh, articles, keeping up on some of the news, sending out the report, so Lord willing, it's edifying through the Holy Spirit. Kind of. Okay. So this is 2nd Ezra chapter 9 and verse 3, it says, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee even from the beginning all right so you know through the elders the teachings the tutelage of the elder apostles of great millstone on down through the spiritual power and blessings of the holy spirit through yahweh Shai, you know the the watchmen those who are seeking to build you know build up the spirit edify the body warn our people okay of what's coming and what's presently taking place within the you know biblical prophecies okay we're being able to measure the times diligently okay and we're seeing these signs we're seeing the prophecies that have come to pass and that are on the brink of you know fruition that are coming soon to pass coming to take place right and being able to measure the times okay and understanding that the heavenly father is very much visiting the earth which he created here in these latter days okay he, the visitation of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahashai, is very apparent, okay? It's because we're seeing many earthquakes in diverse places, as the scriptures say, you know, throughout, you know, different areas of the, of the Holy Scriptures, okay? We're seeing just recently a 6.0 hit Taiwan, a 6.0 hit Afghanistan, you know, killed, you know, over a thousand people, all right? So we're seeing these things, um, you know, take place. Uh, uh, you saw the um, earthquake in uh, Georgia as well. Mm -hmm. And that was uh, very much so uh, a rare occurrence because uh, there in Georgia, there's not too many uh, earthquakes, but that's just a, you know, they're not on fault lines or anything like that, but that's just a sign of the Lord's visitation here. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. So, and, and uh, of course, with what's going on and they, as far as the U.S. Supreme Court, you know, um, not only with the... Um, you know, a ruling regarding, you know, concealed weapons and whatnot, which is, you know, obviously going to have a, a very large effect on the, you know, the landscape of things, okay, because you're going to have a lot more people looking to openly carry firearms, okay, in, in different different areas in different states, um, you yeah, know. And this is a gun-loving country, man, and these people are already running wild, you know, when it comes to uh, killing each other out here in the streets, man, you know. They're quick to, to pull out the pistol, you know, uh, fight, fight escalates quickly to uh, gunfire out here. People mm -hmm. would rather shoot first, man. So we're going to continue seeing that, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, I have a, you know, I have a coworker, man, who, who's real into guns and stuff, man. And he uh, pretty much, he, he heard that bill uh, being talked about and whatnot. And that, 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 he was acting like that was some sweet music to his ears, man. Mm -hmm. You know? But, you know, no no pun intended, but, you know, bittersweet symphony, man. So, mm -hmm. you know, this thing is bittersweet because we know that Jacob's trouble is quickly approaching, you know, troubles, difficult times for our people, civil unrest, all these things that have to come to pass. 
But the sweet part is looking for our salvation, looking for Yahweh Shai to crack those clouds and, and bring our people salvation, starting with the elect and starting with the one third of the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Native Americans, Latinos, West Indians, Haitians, Israelite foreigners. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. So we're beginning also to see these great uproars pursuant to verse three here in Second Ezra chapter nine. Okay, uproars of the people in the world. All right. So this lesson is is going into a lot of uh, you know different areas of the world where these uproars are taking place currently. Okay, it's lock it for the wait here. Okay, so this is uh, of course right outside of D.C. After uh, you know the Supreme Court came down with his Roe versus Wade. Okay, overturned the ruling there. So now here in Babylon, America, basically each state is going to be able to regulate, you know, abortion policies and whatnot. OK, and there's uh, many people who are not, you know, in agreement uh, agreement with the uh, with the ruling. All right. Um, I just seen a uh, uh, Louisiana, one of the judges in Louisiana temporarily uh, blocked the uh, the ban on uh, abortions there for the state. But um, that that's just buying some time. But they they know that um, you know things are gonna get chaotic out there, man. As you see, mm -hmm. out here in California, you know, this being a, a liberal state and whatnot, uh, brothers here in California been seeing uh, all weekend, you know, protests, people getting rowdy, throwing shit at the cops, uh, shooting uh, fireworks at the cops. Uh, one uh, person uh, had a like a. Uh, flamethrower, like a homemade flamethrower, and they, they freaking uh, assaulted a cop with it when the cop got uh, sent to the hospital with some burns and stuff, man. But yeah, these these police, they, they're not going to hold back, man. Especially when they know they got more guns on the street to do it. They, these police are going to start really, uh, you know, coming down with heavy enforcement, man. Getting in that military type of form. Mm -hmm. That's right. So that's why, yeah, scriptures say, run out with the multitude of the evil, man. So Jake getting caught up in there, they, they just want to, uh, uh, you know, go out there just to uh, be part of a crowd, man. Watch out. A lot of Jake's going to get uh, uh, punished out there, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. There's a video from D.C. right after the ruling. my body my choice spirit okay now same uh same evening i believe is that the 24th in dc blow this up a little bit Yep, so a lot of people who are taking this opportunity, you know, same thing here in this bridge. Brothers may have seen this video. So just a few small examples of what was taking place in that area. Get okay, Washington, D.C., the Frederick Douglass Memorial Bridge. All right, so over there lighting off that smoke bomb. Okay. So finishing off here in 2nd Ezra chapter 9 and verse 5. It says, For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. So, all right, so again, through these uh, wars and rumors of wars, the, the great famine that's on the brink, you know, um, the collapsing of, of many economies, you know, the crashing of the dollar, the U.S. dollar, the ushering in of digital currency, the juicy juice leading up to the MOTB. All of these things are, are leading up to the end. Yeah, one of those great signs of the end is 
is the spirit of prophecy, the spirit of Yahweh Shai being upon them, visiting mm -hmm. the earth, and him coming with great division. And that's what you see here. Um, what does the scripture say? That uh, that nation shall rise up against nation, kingdom against kingdom. But it says that a nation divided against itself shall not stand. Mm -hmm. So this place is, is crumbling within, man. Mm -hmm. and, and you're seeing, uh, you know, uh, Satan against Satan, you know. Uh, these Edomites coming against each other, you know, whether it be the Democrats, Republicans, all, you know, all working under the same umbrella. But point being is that there's, uh, uh, you know, these average Edomites that are coming up against their rulers, their enforcers, their government. And you're seeing more and more unrest uh, on social media, different things like that, to where people are, are, are going to start taking matters into their own hands even more so leading up to that, um, you know, that civil unrest and that, um, you know, sedition amongst men. Mm -hmm. That's right. Man, a quick video here from Manhattan, New York. You may be charged with additional crimes. Since you have refused to leave the roadway, you will be placed under arrest on the charge of disorderly conduct. If you do not cooperate and accompany the arresting officer to the prisoner transport vehicle, or if you resist arrest. All right, so NYPD out there putting people in zip ties, you know. And, uh, yeah, that's just, you know, that's just a small sample size. That's just a taste of what's going on. And it's the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, in the Apocrypha, chapter 7 and verse 1. It says, do no evil, so shall no harm come unto thee. So and these people out there protesting, you know, and doing these things. And ultimately, they're fighting for, you know, they're fighting for murder's sake, really. All right. For, mm -hmm. for, for you know, and uh, they're, they're looking to justify their, their actions, you know, and whatnot. But, you know, in the end, it's not righteous in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Ah, come on. You know? And they... They're full of uh, just wickedness, man. They, I seen uh, some sign that pretty much said uh, that, oh, that the Heavenly Father uh, killed his son, killed Jesus, so I can kill my son. Some bullshit like that. Some mm -hmm. damn Shedemite had a sign. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep, exactly. So, you know, these, these people, man, they got a, uh, a wicked spirit, you know, Wicked, wicked spirit going on, and uh, yeah, man. It's again, it's all for a bunch of uh, you know, madness, really. And uh, you know, there's actually a, a photo. I don't want to run this out. Be able to maybe stick it up on on the thumbnail for this video. Um, but there's a Shedemite during these uh, protests, what appear to be a heathen, and uh, she's wearing this T-shirt, a black T-shirt, and and it's uh, white lettering, white writing on it, and it says, "If I wanted a baby in my belly." I'd effing eat one. And she's in between another sheet of my and a transformer that's mm -hmm. out there. You know, so I don't want to I'll be able to stick it um, on the thumbnail for this video. But yeah, that's the spirit that some of these wicked Babylonians are in and even the two thirds and, and, and wicked of, of the, in the nation of Israel, man. They're in that, that do as thou wilt spirit, you know, uh, my body, my choice, you know, and uh, ultimately. They're continuing to abound in wickedness, man. You know? But yeah, if I wanted a baby in my belly, I'd effing eat one. That's what this woman's shirt said. So that's the kind of spirit that a lot of people are in. You know? That's right. And you've seen a lot of... Uh, there's legislation not only getting passed for that, but um, post-birth, they're pretty much uh, trying to pass legislation that was going to allow a uh, woman to, to kill their baby... Um, up to like 10 days after it is born mm -hmm. and they're calling that uh, pretty much under a, a form of abortion yeah they're trying to give women uh, protective rights under that so, so. Uh, yeah that's insane man mm -hmm. uh, that's the, the level of wickedness out here in Babylon and the state of uh, society right now you know being completely at a, a collapse mm -hmm, that's right yeah, as the book of Ecclesiasticus Sirach Chapter 7, verse 2 says, Depart from the unjust, and iniquity shall turn away from thee, my son. Sow not upon the furrows of unrighteousness, 
and thou shalt not reap them sevenfold. Okay, man. So those who are, you know, so in wickedness, so in iniquity, man, who sow that, they're going to reap that. They're going to be given that sevenfold. So seven being a complete number. Okay, and a lot of these uh, companies, these major companies, Esau owns, some of them are trying to save face and whatnot. Um, offering like up to uh, $4,000 for travel expenses and reimbursing people, uh, women, if they go out of that state to go get the procedure done and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But pretty much, uh, yeah, e Esau is very much so, uh, you know, creating an order out of chaos to where these people will completely run to Esau for everything that they need thinking that um, that they can continue doing wickedness and not be judged for it. Mm -hmm. So either way, Esau is creating this chaos and he's bringing in his, his new world order to where people will completely uh, submit themselves to Esau's authority. That's right, man. So a furrow, just for edification, a Google definition, a furrow goes into a, a long, narrow trench made in the ground by a plow, especially for planting seeds or for irrigation. All right, so, you know, again, that which you reap, you will sow. So do not sow upon those trenches. Do not become rooted in unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt not reap the, the, you know, the fruit thereof, okay, which is ultimately going to be death, going to be destruction, woe unto them, you know. Mm -hmm. So... Exactly. So do not sow in that unrighteousness and thou shalt not reap the sevenfold. Yeah, that's why it said uh, make no covenant with the heathen. Mm -hmm. God. But that's what many of our people are doing. Continuing to see this as an opportunity to, you know, conduct themselves, you know, in such manner. I mean, this right here is the 110 freeway downtown L.A. Close to a thousand strong has now entered the 110 freeway. So once again, we're looking at the northbound side of the 110 freeway near 5th Street, where you can see a pickup truck leading the pack as 110 northbound traffic comes to a halt. And uh, once again, we do know that law enforcement is on the way out here. This is a large group. Uh, at one point, I estimated about a thousand i don't know how many are actually on the freeway now but you can see things are heating up yeah man you some see of at the these protesters, protesters more you got a lot of others uh, and some you know a lot of these uh people out there at their protests are, are part of the alphabet gang man you know a lot of mo's out there and you know what is their even uh purpose what's their um you know what is it what's their stake being in in part of those protests man mm-hmm and that's uh, pretty much, you know, is to uh, promote that wickedness, man. You know, promote their own agenda, but pretty much being a, a you know, being anti, uh, you know, anti-life pretty much, man. Because the, the Heavenly Father, he, he told us to be uh, fruitful, you know. He said for our, the seed of Jacob to be uh, fruitful, man, to, uh, you know, go out there have families, have children, and to, uh, you know, be about that. But here in this captivity, you know, we can't, you know, we have no uh, continuing uh, um, place in this society right now, man. That's why we need Yahweh Bashem Yahweh mm -hmm. because this place is, is wicked, man. And you don't want to bring up uh, children out here, man, because they're getting um, indoctrinated by Esau and, and his agenda, you know. You got Esau... Uh, promoting the the alphabet people and, and pretty much uh, infiltrating school systems and and everything, man. To where you really have to uh, keep a tight leash on your on your kids. But point being is that you're seeing a lot of these people that that are agent provocateurs, people that really have no um, they they don't really have any real investment with this thing when it comes to their own personal life, they're out there to promote their own wickedness. Mm -hmm. You know, chasing clout, doing all types of shit, man. Just to uh, make a post, say that they were there, just to go cause some mayhem. You, you are very low, by the way. You're, uh, go post something on social media, okay. say I was there. Mm -hmm. That's right, clout chasing, looking to, you know, be a super simp, going out there and trying to, 
you know, pull numbers, trying to trying to get out there because their woman tells them to, you know, try try to, you know, try to gain some followers and so on and so forth, man. You know, you get people out there who are, who are just anti-establishment, get people who are, you know, looking to just do this because it's the next best thing to do. You know, it's kind of like when people were going crazy out there, breaking into places and, and, and looting and all that other stuff, man. And, and uh, you know, you see that, you know, a lot of these things are going to continue to take place as as time goes on. You know, this is Hollywood and Highland right here. Okay, so yeah, tons of different areas, man. Okay, locally here, at least in Southern California and uh, all throughout the nation. Okay, this is Ecclesiasticus. Mm -hmm. But yeah, man, why do you think they had this uh, during uh, Pride Week, you know, um, during the some type of, I think it was an anniversary of Title IX or something like that, but pretty much... Uh, yeah, uh, Esau picked certain times for this thing to go on uh, on purpose, man. It's always planned well ahead of time, man. And mm. these people are really after uh, population control. They're after, you know, it may look like it's one thing, but it's really another. Mm -hmm. That's right. And they're, they're trying to get people to um, pretty much to be about that population control and, and anti-life, man. Yeah, and also ultimately they, they don't, don't follow the ways of death. Kind of. And to add on to that, and I'm back off that, you know, they're adding on to, you know, Esau's reasonings and justification of bringing in heavy amounts of, of law enforcement, martial law, implementing these different types of order, you know, and uh, draconian measures, if you will, to, um, you know, to, to control the people, to control the masses. They don't realize that what they're doing is contributing to to that power grab that Esau and the wicked elites are going to are going to ultimately you know, implement and they're going to take that extreme measure because they're going to justify it through people's actions. OK, because of their lack of knowledge, wisdom mm -hmm. and understanding. That's right, man. Uh, I have a quick preset. This is uh, Proverbs 11 and 14. It says where no counsel is, the people fall. But the, in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. Mm -hmm. And that's right, man. So. Uh, the council is the scriptures, the word of Yahweh Bashim Shai, you know, and, and the men that are teaching it. And where where there is no council, you know, our people don't know this word. They don't know the Heavenly Father. They don't know Yahweh Shai. And the people fall, man, you know. Mm -hmm. But there is safety in this word, in this truth, man. This mm -hmm. truth leads us onto a, a path, man. You know, it keeps us in, in the, the mercies of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Adawan Ratzaza. That's right. But the, the people, uh, what does it say? Uh, pride cometh before the fall and a haughty spirit before destruction. And that's the, the path people are, are heading in right now, man. And they don't even see it coming, man. They got their blinders on and they're walking right into the pit, man. They're walking right into Esau's little trap right there, man, to uh, get caught up by the fowler. Mm-hmm. Right. Esau is that cunning hunter, so he's going to be able to use these things, the people's actions against themselves. Yeah, but that's the importance of, of you know, using this time. Uh, what does the scripture say? Redeem the time because the days are evil. Mm -hmm. So redeem the time by learning this truth, by investing your time and, and staying um, edified, you know, building yourself up in the spirit and in this knowledge of the truth and measuring the times through Watching the news, uh, filtering it through the scriptures, man. That's right. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, in the Apocrypha, chapter 26 and verse 5. It says, There be three things that mine heart feareth, and for the fourth I was sore afraid, the slander of a city, the gathering together of an unruly multitude. That's right. A lot of these people are unruly, man. They don't have the discipline, especially the, in particular, the two thirds of our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, the Israelites, man. Our yeah. people are gathering as an unruly multitude. That's right. Are known as uh, rebellious children. Mm -hmm. That's right. Rebellious children, and rebellious house, mm -hmm. rebellious people, hard-headed and stiff-necked. Okay, and it says, uh, goes on to say, and a false accusation. All these are worse than death. So, right, all these are worse than death. So, really focusing on that gathering together of an unruly multitude, man. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, a lot of these folks, man, okay, again, are the two-thirds of our people and those who are with this uh, type of, you know, 
you know, uh, movement, if you will, okay? Come, and, and you know, um, you know, this slander of a city, that, that's uh, Babylon right there for you, man. You know, Esau being the, the ruler of Babylon, you know, being in control of the whole earth right now, and he's built his whole nation off of, uh, you know, rape, rob, and pillage, uh, lying, uh, uh, you know, pretty much lying on, on Jake, man, you know, creating Jake to be the, the one that's uh, promoting evil, wickedness, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. the face of it, and making up, uh, you know, Christianity, and, uh, you know, creating lies, creating uh, things that, that don't pertain to the, the truth, man, which was for our people, for Israel, for, you know, the Negroes, Native Americans, and Latinos, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. That's and right. he has uh, slandered us, given us these proverbs, bywords to be called by, and kept us away from our knowledge of who we are and that we are a, a righteous uh, nation, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. Slandering, you know, as the scriptures say, he slandereth his own mother, his, yeah, his own mother's son. son. Yeah. That's right. And uh, the slander of a city, exactly yeah, like and, the Aquaman and, just said. And you know. our, our two thirds of our people follow Esau, you know, you know? They, they, they're, they've surpassed the deeds of the wicked, as the scriptures say. But point being is uh, even Yahawashai condemned some of these damned, uh, you know, these Jakes that were uh, in that uh, Gentile state of mind, you know, saying that you were uh, of your father, the devil, who was a liar from the beginning. And, you know, that word uh, liar going into uh, slander, man. That's right, man. So Esau has, you know, he's never changed, man. That's why the scriptures say, never trust thine enemy. Although he wiped the looking glass, his, his rust, what does it say? His, his rust is not uh, wiped away altogether. Mm hmm Gone. Gone. So that's slandering, again, yeah, slandering Jerusalem, slandering our people. Jerusalem was a people before it was a place. So slandering the Israelites. That's right, that. man. And to slander, just when the Google um, definition goes into uh, the action or crime of making false statement, damaging to a person's reputation, uh, or defamation of character. Yeah, and that defamation, yeah. exactly, man. That's, you know, that's, and that's stri uh, stripping that's, someone's character away. That's right, man. So that's why, um, you know, uh, Jake's always uh, public enemy number one, the first suspect. And, you know, uh, people are always looking at, at Jake like, like we're the criminal, you know? Mm -hmm. That's right, and a false accusation. So the term devil, I believe, goes into false accuser. Mm hmm. So. Yeah, exactly. So these things are worse than death. So going into this now, locally took place here in LA. Just get a video on it real quick, just for give you a better idea. Yeah, people are who are willing to do such things, man. And you hear cheering, people cheering that stuff on, man. You know, so that took place the same day, 24th, 20, June 24th, 2022, the year of our Lord, Yahweh Bashim and Shai turning up, as was deemed by Elder Apostle Tahar. Khan, Khan, and you know, Esau, he's eventually going to bring in the uh, National Guard, man. You know, the National Guard has already been training for a couple years already for the takeover, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, I, I have a, a, you know, a, a coworker. Uh, he he been gone uh, for like two years because um, he was uh, on the reserves and whatnot. So I haven't seen him in like two years, man. But uh, you know, he's a Edomite coworker and stuff. And this guy is a uh, pretty much like a he was like a, a captain or something when it comes to uh, the Army Reserves or the, the National Guard. But point being is that that guy's been gone for a couple of years already now, man. It's where, you know, I'm like, yeah, I ain't. that guy's never coming back, man. <laughs> like pretty much uh, Esau's been training them, man, getting them all ready for all hell to break loose, man. And they're going to, he's going to bring them out, man, to uh, take over the policing, you know, and to, uh, to bring the militias into the streets, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, they, they've been training, doing drills, doing all this shit to uh, uh, practice this, man. Even uh, even the, the police, man. Uh, was it the 32-year-old uh, Edomite cop? 
out here in uh, LAPD. He got killed in, in a training where they were simulating a, a mob attack. But um, yeah, he got killed by his fellow uh, coworkers, fellow police, and, and they uh, pretty much uh, broke his neck, multiple fractures in his neck, and they're you know kicking him, uh, punching him, and stuff, and. and uh, Pretty much his mom is trying to sue the LAPD now. But uh, point being is that they were simulating a mob attack. So they're, they're preparing for all hell to break loose. They're preparing for civil unrest. That is the the main um, topic, the main training point now. It's an it's a emphasis to uh, focus on civil unrest right now. And that's part of their agenda. Mm -hmm. That's right. Order out of chaos. Get down! Hey, hey, stop! Stop! Live ammunition! Live, live fireworks! No! Right there, they caught the guy who threw that explosive. Lots of screams in the streets out here in Babylon, coming to the city near you. Just like you had in China, you know, nothing but screams coming from those buildings. People are locked up. You're gonna hear nothing but screams and all hell breaking loose out here very soon. That's right. So what does the scripture say that evil and only evil shall pursue you? Yeah, so I believe yeah, even blood shall pursue you. But uh, what was that? Evil and only evil has come. Yeah, it's uh, Ezekiel seven and five. It says, "Thus said the Adawan Yahweh, and evil and only evil, behold, is come, and an end is come." The end is come. It watcheth for thee. Behold, it is come. Mm -hmm. That's right. And that's the time that we're in, Israel. That's right. Bad times. Evil. That's right. So this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 15 and verse 14. It says, Woe. Woe meaning destruction. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. So it draws near. It's drawn close. Time. Um, yeah, I got something just to back that up on uh, the same same uh, book, same chapter, uh, Ezekiel 7 and 7 reads, The morning is come unto thee, O thou that dwellest in the land. So that morning is come unto thee. So that's uh, pursuing to the, this judgment and the return of Yahweh Shai being near. And it says, The time is come, the day of trouble is near, and not the sounding again of the mountains. So, that day of trouble being Jacob's trouble, being near. Mm -hmm. And the day, of, the time has come for that, man. So, that's why we have to continually doing every, be it doing everything we can for Yahweh Bashem Shai and praying that the Lord has mercy over us, man. And mm -hmm. it says, uh, Ezekiel 7 and 8, Now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee and accomplish mine anger upon thee and I will judge thee according to thy ways and will recompense thee for all thine abominations. Mm -hmm. So these people still going off, still not coming back to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, still doing wickedness, uh, committing iniquity, you know, not uh, trying to uh, uh, learn this truth, forsaking this truth. They're not going to have any covering for their sins because... The men of the Lord have been out there. They've been giving the warnings. They have been telling their people to come back in. But two-thirds of our people are, are going to be destroyed for their wickedness, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. So we all have to, uh, uh, um, you know, face that um, uh, that recompense. So we're looking for uh, a, a righteous recompense. We're looking for salvation and for the to uh, see the 
what does it say? Um, Blessed is he that liveth to see the downfall of his enemies. So we're looking for salvation and to see the downfall of the wicked uh, Esau of Edom, this uh, Babylonian uh, hellhole man, and, and you know, two thirds of Jake. They're, they're going to have to go down with it, man. But point being is that um, the Lord, he's coming down with that great fury right now, man. He's pouring out his judgment every day. And it's a recompense for all the abominations that the people are committing. You know, there's none that perish being innocent, man. And, you know, a lot of people, they don't want to, uh, you know, they don't want to recognize that the Lord, he's doing this all, man. That's right. That's right. So just to tie into that, Ezekiel 7 and 7, which you brought out, says the morning is come unto thee. So I'm going to get the Strong's definition, the Strong's Hebrew for the morning. Strong's H, 6843. Zephirah. 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 Right. So I'd like the Akbana mentioned, you know, that coming of Yahweh Shai, because it goes into a crown, okay, as encircling the head. A a, I want to say diadem, a diadem, mm -hmm. which is also another form of a crown, mm -hmm. but also um, or, or a wreath, a crown. But also another one uh, definition, which is interesting, it says also a turn of affairs, i.e. a mishap, All right? So a turn of affairs. So it's a changing of time, mm -hmm. All right? And what's that time? That's the end of Esau's reign. That's right. You know? The end of uh, Esau, it's the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Mm -hmm. That's right. So the, That's the, right. the downfall mm -hmm. of this wicked kingdom and, and society as we know it because it's ran by the wicked. Mm -hmm. Controlled by the wicked elites. That's right. Yeah, the water out here. Come. Yeah, so this is Second Ezra chapter 15. I'll reread 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. So, right, so soon to be, um, you know, the civil unrest, I mean, in a sense that civil war, race wars, race riots. You know, in the modern day sword being guns. Okay. And again, per the US Supreme Court, just dish, you know, coming down with that ruling, pretty soon it's gonna be like the Wild West out here. You're gonna see many people walking around with guns. Okay. Even more so than you than you already have in different states where they have open carry, you know, laws and whatnot, right? Where people are allowed to do that. Okay, now you're gonna see that basically across, you know, across Babylon America. You're gonna see more and more people that are walking around. You know, with guns, because they, because it's within their quote-unquote rights to do so. So continues, you know, and that's only gonna up, you know, vi you know, violence and, and uh, you know, it's gonna up murders. And, that's and, right, man. And, you and, already and, see people will shoot you over anything, man. Con, con, yeah, everything yeah. from from mayo on your subway sandwich to cutting to you off, road rage, cutting you off on the freeway. You know, your Chick Fil A milkshake. You know, so on and so forth, man. I mean, it, there's so many different judgments that have been handed out recently by Yahweh Bashim Shai, but a lot of people, yeah, just straight losing it. Mm -hmm. Straight losing it. Just there at the end. That's right. So Second uh, Ezra chapter 15 and 16 and says, say that the love of many wax, shall wax cold. Yep. And, you know, it's cold out here, man. There, there's no love in, in a lot of these people. That's right. And especially no love for Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. That's right. All right, so if Second Ezra 15 and 16 says, For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And so they're going to do what's within their power. You know, they're going to be able to, you know, walk around with guns, do this and that. They're going to be able to. So discord and, and all of these things that are going to take place and they're not going to have regard for their local governments, their quote unquote authority, uh, authority figures, if you will, police, you know, uh, military, local military, so on and so forth. Right. They're not going to have regard for president, you know, creepy, sleepy Joe Biden. They're not going to have regard for any of that. OK, so they're going to stand up and be fighting once against another man. And that term, you know, just real quick, um, the term uh, Google. Per Google, sedition goes into conduct or speech inciting people to rebel against the authority of a state or monarch. All right, so this, you see that, you know, you see these quote-unquote celebrity influencers and whatnot, okay, 
talking about you know talking about that Roe versus Wade decision and and f the Supreme Court and blah blah blah. So you know you you see that more and more. Yeah, I've seen some pink pink say <laughs> anybody that was uh pretty much uh, anti abortion mm. to stop listening to my music. <laughs> yep, yep. <kinda. laughs> yeah, it's like fuck you, bitch. Nobody wants to listen to your music anyway. Right. You got little, uh, yeah, I think that chick Lord, L-O-R-D-E, or however you spell her name, Lord, say the same thing, F the Supreme Court, you know, yeah. that that uh, Jake, you know, Olivia Rodrigo, you know. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, Kendrick, you know. Simp, super simp, freaking Kendrick, man, that, yeah. that, that demon. Yeah, he got heavy demons on him, man, and uh, yeah, Lord, he's not going to pardon him, especially with that damn blasphemy. Wearing mm-hmm. his crown of thorns, mm-hmm. blood on his face. That's right. And he's uh, yeah, mm-hmm. performing, saying that bullshit. Yep. That's right. So going back into what what happened here in uh, Arizona, okay, at one of the Capitol buildings, I believe, here in Arizona. So people out here getting tear gassed. Yeah, and you see it. These people are just walking around with their phones out, just recording this thing, man. And that's, uh, you know, a lot of Americans be recording their own demise, man. They, they love death so much that it's right out their window. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah, there's, uh, yeah, there's a, another angle here. Another angle, what's going on here? Where's our guy? Where's Lock our guy? Where's our guy? Sideways, but as you can see, a lot of tear gas. You hear shots being popped off, probably some rubber bullets flying. Just one more look into that. This is a video that got released from the building itself. Nah, it's like yes, it's like I didn't realize it was a Of course, it's got to be. It's Jeremiah 9 and 21. And it says, for death is come up into our windows and is entered into our palaces to cut off the children from without and the young men from the streets. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. So there's going to be mass death. These people are going to get cleared out, man. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. That's why you see everywhere you look, every time you look at the news, you're looking out the windows here and you're seeing... Nothing but people that are lining up for the slaughter, man. Mm-hmm. Kind of, that's right. Without that thinking that they're, uh, you know, protesting within their rights and whatnot and things as such, man. But they're, they're standing up for murder, man. And you got a lot of these people, man. Again, two-thirds of our people, man. You got a lot of these people who are out there with no knowledge of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, not being, you know, led by the Heavenly Father without the discipline. And ultimately, that, again, that's going to lead to their, it's going to lead to their destruction. So uh, this is a uh, reading from Ezekiel 7 and 9 reads, And mine eyes shall not spare, neither will I have pity. I will recompense thee according to thy ways and thine abominations that are in the midst of thee. And ye shall know that I am the Lord, the Adawan Yahweh, that smite it. Woo. That's right, man. So they're going to know that the Heavenly Father is going to lay down that judgment. You know, ultimately when, he's, when he smites a lot of these people, man. That's right, man. And they, these things are only going to continue, whether it be uh, these type of protests and marches or something else next week, the following week, man. But point being is that these are days of evil and only evil, and they're going to continue to increase in these latter days. So we have to be steadily seeking Yahweh Bashim Shai, you know, while he may be found, you know, mm-hmm. okay. while he's near. Uh, what is the Ecclesiastes uh, uh, 12 and 1 say? So, uh, you know, remember the the creator in the days of thy youth before the days that you shall have no pleasure in. You want to grab that, Baba Kasha? Ecclesiastes. Yeah, 12 and 1. Kind of. Yeah, the Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. While the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. That's right. 
Mm -hmm. Fair man. So, you know, it's very important to come back to our creator, our power, while mm -hmm. we still have the, uh, the gates of mercy, you know, available, you know, that mercy available to us. You know, if, if we, we pray, we beseech the Heavenly Father for that mercy and forgiveness and come in all truth and sincerity wholeheartedly, okay, then that's how we can seek our forgiveness and seek mercy, you know, seek salvation. Mm -hmm. Because the, the time it, it, to where, you know, the famine of the word pursuant to Amos 8 and 11, all right, that opportunity, man, that window of opportunity is closing day by day. So tomorrow's not promised. So we have to do what we can to, to come back to the Heavenly Father, come back to our power That's right. while the opportunity is there for us. Yeah, because, uh, you know, as they say that the righteous will be made white and, and pretty much that the righteous shall understand judgment, but the wicked shall not. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, in Daniel 12. Mm -hmm. But point being is that we're going to be able to uh, have that understanding that just like uh, Isaiah 33 and 6 says, uh, um, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that times. So it's going to keep us stable and balanced and full of hope and hope of salvation from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Wisdom to uh, stay uh, uh, separated from the evil, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's prophecy declaring that times will become very unstable. Mm -hmm. So we are seeing the beginning of that. We're seeing the, you know, we, we have seen that over the past, you know, few years and it's continuing to increase. That's right, man. But, you know, like the ox said, you know, while, while mercy, while the Lord is still uh, may be found, because when he comes down with that judgment, when the elector are, you know, sealed and, and, you know, he takes his word, you know, when that famine of the word hits, when these people are are you know in the state of uh, all hell broke loose jacob's trouble full effect and um you know the days uh the evil days where people have no pleasure in them you know we're we're barely in the beginning stages of that you know days of sorrow the beginning of jacob's trouble but point being is that these people are are, are going to be completely bugged out man and they're gonna you know you're already seeing many people have no hope but they're going to be completely gone man just bugged out full of uh demons man with no hope no pleasure man to where they're just gonna completely give up and just let the damn uh demons take over man mm -hmm. but point being is that um we gotta come to the lord uh, uh early come to him now while he may be found because when when these people are seeking answers they're seeking the most high when Everything is completely bad. They're being, uh, you know, judged. The, the wrath of the Lord is pouring out heavy out here um, with no, uh, you know, no answers for them. They're going to be completely bugged out, man. Mm -hmm. okay. Sorry, so this is a video that was taken over in uh, Greenville, South Carolina. Same thing. Protests over this past weekend. The guys, this is woman out there screaming, going crazy, and this is just the beginning. You know, that, that's light work. Crazy people, just wait until they get shot. Exactly, that's light work for Esau right there. Wait, wait till he really, wait till he really starts, until he really start laying it down. All right, that's just that's light work. The book of Exodus, chapter 23 and verse 2. It says, Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. Now, I also want to read this in the NLT just for a different uh, translation. This is the NLT, the New Living Translation, Exodus 23 and 2. You must not follow the crowd in doing wrong. When you are called to testify in a dispute, do not be swayed by the crowd to twist justice. And that's what a lot of our people do. They go along to get along. They'll be willing to, you know, go against their own beliefs just to be uh, validated and be uh, approved of in the eyes of their fellow men. Okay, just to be given that, oh yeah, you know, hey, that, he's not going against the grain. You know, he's going along to get along, right? To appease right. the crowd. That's right, but the scriptures say that we, we would be, um, um, you know, 
hated of all men for this truth. Mm-hmm. So that just comes with the territory. But we, we don't fear men. We fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Because mm-hmm. we, we know that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, he's the one that controls it all, man. Mm-hmm. So um, we, we look to be approved in the eyes of the Most High. Mm-hmm. But right. what does the scripture say that he that departed from evil make himself a prey? So, you know, um, the Lord also said that um, I send you forth as sheep amongst wolves. Mm-hmm. You know, so, hey, we, we, we don't fear, though. We, we know we have Yahweh Bashim Shai watching over us. We have the spirit of the Lord on us, man. The angels watching over us. So we, we don't uh, follow a multitude to do evil. We don't fear, man. That's right. And we're not going to hold back uh, on this truth. And we're not going to uh, um, decline to, to rest righteous judgment, man. Mm-hmm. That's why uh, there's many people out there that, that are, are scared, you know, to uh, go out there on the highways and byways, man. Mm-hmm. Scared to set up the, the altar right there on the streets. Scared to prophesy, man. Because they want to be um, liked am- amongst all men, you mm-hmm. know. They mm-hmm. want that friendship with the world spirit, you know, which is enmity with the Most High. Mm-hmm. You know, they they're scared to uh, call a spade a spade, man. You know, scared to uh, denounce evil, mm-hmm. e- even amongst their own families, man. But you know, we, we separate ourselves from that, man. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. we're, right. we're not surprised when we're separated from uh, men's company. That's right. For this truth. Mm-hmm. And it's actually a pleasure, man, because we know that uh, mm-hmm. Yahweh Shai, he, he's keeping us separate. He only works with a small, uh, you know, a small number, a small remnant. That's right. As the scriptures say, yeah, rejoice when men, sh- when, when men shall revile you, separate you from their company, roughly paraphrasing. For my name's sake. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And uh, mm-hmm. as and we're doing as commanded of Yahweh Shai, right, according to that investment that the Heavenly Father has made, okay, and through the powers of the Holy Spirit through Yahweh Bashim Shai. okay, we're trying to flip that investment, okay, according to the proportion of our faith, according to our lot, right, we're trying to do what we can for Yahweh Bashim Shai to the best of our ability, in all truth and sincerity, and uh, just to add on to that though, Babu Gashah, this is Acts 5 and 29, so just get straight to the point, it says, then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey the most high power, we ought to obey God rather than men, that's mm-hmm. right, man. So we're, yeah. so we're doing we're obeying the Heavenly Father. Yeah, the, the best water, of our yeah. ability. I got another uh, precept to build on that. This is uh, Matthew 7 and 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate. S-T-R-A-I-T. A uh, position of difficulty. The straight gate. And it says, For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat. So many people are entering through the, the broad gate or the wide gate you know they they think that that's uh, uh you know something to do to, to follow the, the crowd you know to uh go with what's uh what's being uh normalized in in esau's society in his rulership you know and that's the way that lead it to destruction because it's not approved by the heavenly father mm-hmm that's right. And many are, are following that way unto death, man. And it says, uh, Matthew 7 and 14, Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Mm-hmm. So point being, that small remnant, you know, very few that are going to have the, the obedience, you know, that are going to have the uh, uh, boldness to, to stand firm, for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and enter through that straight gate, that position of difficulty. This walk is not supposed to be easy. This is a, a difficult path, you know. We're being uh, tried through the furnace of affliction, but he that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. So it's very much a blessing to be in this truth and this understanding and uh, makes it that much, uh, you know, more worthwhile, okay, because we have. A blessing to look forward to we pray for it though because we don't know if we're of that elect number so we got to continue to abound in the work and the labor for y'all bashim y'all shy to make our calling and election sure that's so, right and uh you know y'all shy said i uh, you know ye are not of the world otherwise the world would love his own mm-hmm. that's right that's right so 
just as so, Mashiach Yahushua was not of the world. Okay, we pray to be of that uh, hopeful elect number. That's right. So that's why we we uh, you know like Doc brought out earlier. You know, we counted it as joy. You know, when when we are separated, we are hated for for men's sake. You know. Because mm -hmm. it, this word is a, is a stumbling block. It's an offense into the wicked. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, so now we're going to tra transition into what's going on you know, globally. Same thing, protests and whatnot, uproars of the people. But more so regarding um, you see, you know, Q, uh, mandatory you know, QR codes and uh, passes. You know, wink, wink. You know, we all, you know these different um, you know, mandated things as such. But also the collapses okay, of these different economies. Because we're seeing inflation and hyperinflation, you know, uh, really start to pick up and, and take place, right? Um, inflation here in Babylon, all right, and throughout the world, you know, a lot of countries are seeing their highest level of inflation and, and raising interest rates and so on and so forth. So we're starting to see the collapse of, of economies all throughout the world. And we all know that that's ultimately going to lead to the crashing thereof and the ushering in of, of digital currency and, and um, different, you know, ultimately... It's all going to be controlled by the wicked elites. So we all know where this is headed. You know, everything's everything's leading up to the MOTB pursuant to Revelation chapter 13. So let's take a look here at this going on in Ecuador. Economies crashing and things of such like that. People are starving, you know. People can't afford, you know, resources. This is uh, also taking place. Yeah, this is Sri Lanka, of course. That's right. Yeah, I believe it was uh, over there in Ecuador, actually, where someone was killed by a tear gas canister. Yeah, they got shot and hit with a tear gas canister. So, yeah, we're seeing a uh, heavy, you know, and that's just a small sample size, once again, you know, of what's really taking place throughout the world, throughout these different areas. All right, so this is a book of uh, additions to Esther, in the, which is in the Apocrypha. This is chapter 16, starting verse 2. It says many the more often they are honored with the great bounty of their gracious princes the more proud they are waxing right, and you got these wicked elites man with those proud spirits man and they continue to wax even more proud you know because of what they're availed you know through the blood sweat and tears man rape rob and pillage you know uh, of their little slice of esau's pie okay so on and so forth man so you got a lot of these people who are are have an insatiable lust for power, for resources, for money, so on and so forth, man, who, who do not want to give up their positions of power. And they're waxed very proud. 
and they continue to wax proud, even more so here in these in these end times. Okay, verse three, and endeavor to hurt not our subjects only, but not being able to bear abundance, do take in hand to practice also against those that do them good. That's right. So there's many who not only come up against the twelve tribes of Israel, okay, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, but um, they are also, you know, practicing that wickedness and, and continue to abound in wickedness and iniquity against their own people um, in the sense that within their own circle, you know, the, even amongst the elites, there's that upper echelon of the elites. And everyone who is not at that level, okay, that upper, that top tier level, everyone is expendable to them. So they're willing to, you know, you know, they're ready to eat their own, man, and, and make those sacrifices to, to, in order for them to continue to maintain those positions of power. Okay, so verse 4, additions to Esther 16 and 4, says, And take not only thankfulness away from among men, but also lift it up with the glorious words of lewd persons that were never good. They think to escape the justice of the Most High that seeth all things and hateth evil. That's right. So real quick, just for edification, we're going to go into that term lewd, okay, or lewdness. Salakia, so having a difficulty here. I'm not sure that it's offering this, the sound, but it looks like it says Zima or Zima. Yeah, for some reason, this may, may not offer the sound, so Salakia for that. Um, but yeah, this goes into a plan, especially a bad one, a heinous crime, mischief, okay? Purpose, thought, wicked, wicked device, okay? So a mischievous purpose, okay? So. You know, I go also going into adultery, idolatry, harlotry, right? So, yeah, the, th the I repeat that from four, where it says, but also lift it up with the glorious words of lewd persons, right? So these people who speak forward things, you know, they speak lies, okay? And, and they speak, you know, deceits, wickedness, falsehoods, okay? So they, they are put in, they are exalted, they are praised, right? Mm -hmm. Here in this modern wicked world God, i got a quick precept uh to back that up this is uh ecclesiastes six and seven reads all the labor of man is for his mouth and yet the appetite is not filled mm -hmm. that's right that's right so it's never filled again that having being insatiable man you know it, you've got an insatiable lust for blood for power for money resources the earth itself man so on and so forth man territory and, and so on and so forth man through rape rob and pillage have many of these people been put into the positions of power that they quote unquote that they have but um, the Lord Yahweh Yah Shai is turning up here in these latter days and they're being brought off their high horse and they're being exposed for the devils that they are you know and so going back and it says they were never good they think to escape the justice of the Most High. That's right. So there's many people who think that they're not going to see the justice of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. They think that their ways are, are going to continue on. You know, they're continuing to abound in this wickedness, and they think that they can stay rooted and, and uh, deceive, you know, the world and Yahweh Bashim El Shai. But no, the Most High seeth all things and hateth evil. Okay, so additions to Esther 16 and 5 says, Oftentimes also fair speech of those that are put in trust to manage their friends' affairs hath caused many that are in authority to be partakers of innocent blood and hath enwrapped them in remediless calamities. That's right, man. So there is going to be no remedy for the calamities when Yahweh Shimi Shai comes down with that. Okay? Because these the calamities of our people and whatnot okay we're, we're getting the taste of that cup we have been okay we've been subject to the curses of deuteronomy chapter 28 and the chastisement of yahweh Shai, serving our modern day captivity here to this very day while in these chains of darkness but no man our, that time is coming for the hopeful elect okay and for the salvation of the elect and of our people for the kingdom of yahweh Shai to be risen up okay the tabernacle of david that's being built up in these latter days Everything righteous judgment is going to restore the earth in a very short time. We pray, I don't want Rathaza, that that time be very soon. 
but we're going to continue to endure. Adwan Ratazah, Lord willing. Okay, but going back into this, oftentimes also fair speech of those that are put in trust. Right, so these people, again, uh, they've caused many that are in authority to be uh, partakers of innocent blood. That's right. So these people with fair speeches, right? Okay, and I believe the scriptures also go into that, you know, um, you know, deceiving that was a uh, with through fair speeches, you know, deceiving the simple, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, so you know, a lot of people are going to be, uh, you know, given that old okie doke, you know, they're going to be taken for the ride. They're going to buy in with the, they're going to buy those wolf tickets, man. You know, and they're going to believe that these people have their own, that they're, they have their best intentions when really it's the exact opposite, man. You know, these people that are put into positions of power do not have the best intentions of the people. In addition to Esther, chapter 16, verse 6, says, Beguiling with false with the falsehood and deceit of their lewd disposition, the innocency and goodness of princes. That's right. So, again, the innocent and those who actually have good intentions and whatnot, they're going to be fooled. And they're, they're going to be taken for a ride. You know? They're going to be taken advantage of. They're going to be as a pawn on the chessboard, okay? Because that's why the scriptures say the simple go on and are punished. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right, man. So, again, um, you know, with that falsehood and deceit, man, being, uh, you yeah. know, oh, using that, see. and that goes back to the garden. I want to? Uh, I'll bring up quick precept. This is Proverbs fourteen and fifteen. The simple believeth every word. But the prudent man uh, looketh well to his going. Mm -hmm. There's a wise man feareth and departeth from evil, but the fool rageth and is confident. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right, man. So, so okay. yeah, man. We we wise that wisdom starts with fearing the Adawan Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man, and departing from the evil. Departing from iniquity, departing from those who continue to forsake the Most High, but and and they're confident in their own strength. You know, they trust in their own um, arm. You know, their own strength, and they rage because they they think that they know better, and they're going to uh, try to go against the grain, man. Try to go against you. Try to go against Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, because they are, are of a contrite spirit. John, that's right. And it says, uh, Proverbs 14 and 17, He that is soon angry dealeth foolishly, and a man of wicked devices is hated. So, a lot of these people are, are getting angry, and they deal, deal it foolishly, because they're, they're unable to realize that Yahweh Bashem Shai is pulling the strings. So, rather than seeking this truth and coming to Yahweh Bashem Shai, they're going to go off and just add more confusion man and and go off and, and do something foolish man and and you know add to the you know the, they're going to be more fuel to the fire so to speak mm -hmm. God, that's right they're gonna start coming up and, and with the uproach of the people as we read earlier mm -hmm. okay there's gonna be up uprisings against the local governments and, and federal governments and yeah, so on and, and so and forth and these uh elites these governments and whatnot you know they're, they're the ones that are setting up these wicked devices and, and that's why they're so hated right now you know you're, you're having people that are calling out the the wicked uh, you know the secret council of the wicked you know all these people that are in power the elites you know mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. The Warak, yeah. So this is uh, going back to additions to Esther chapter sixteen and verse seven. It says Ooh, I got one more, I just this is some heat. This is uh Proverbs fourteen and eighteen reads The simple inherit folly, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. And we're seeking that crown from Yahweh Shai. Being crowned. Uh, that's why the scriptures say in uh was that Revelation second chapter, let no man take that crown. And, you know, we're looking, you know, that crown that we have now is this truth. And we got to strive unto the end to let no man take that crown, you know, to not be pulled into this world, to not be, be uh, you know, uh, fearful, you know, to not seek to uh, uh, save our life, you know, so to speak, to be able to uh, uh, give everything up for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and this truth. And we're seeking that crown. But this, we're crowned with uh, the knowledge uh, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and this is going to be our, our our stability in these times, right? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and so. prudent, you know, we're cautious. We, we're able to uh, uh, make sure that everything's done decently and in order and and hoping it's approved in the eyes of Yahweh Shem Shai. And doing that by filtering it through the scriptures, making sure that it's a, an acceptable offering unto the Most High. But the simple inherit folly. So simple because they, they don't look well to their goings. They're punished for it, man. But that word folly, that word folly, Baba Hisha, let me get that definition real quick. Uh, going into um, lack of good sense, foolishness. Mm -hmm, that's right. And that's why they're going to be so quick to, to trust in the enemy, trust in Esau of Edom. The blind leading the blind into a ditch. Yeah, go ahead, Art. Okay. This is the book of additions to Esther, chapter 16 and verse 7. It says, Now ye may see this, as we have declared, not so much by ancient histories, as ye may, if ye search what hath been wickedly done of late through the pestilent behavior of them that are unworthily placed in authority. Mm -hmm. that unworthily placed in authority. Mm -hmm. But... And it's all done to, uh, you know, Esau being the whooping stick. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, and uh, what does that scripture say? That the kingdom is translated uh, unto another? Unrighteous dealings. Unrighteous dealings, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it says, uh, you know, not so much by ancient histories, okay? Because though history repeats itself, as the scriptures say, no new thing under the sun. But if you search what has been wickedly done of late... That's right. So what's been done lately? What's been continuing to happen over the course of the, of the rulership of Esau of Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, okay? The red man, the devil the Bible speaks of. That's rape, rob, and pillage. That's, that's uh, you know, unrighteous dealings. Why don't you go ahead? You got that lined up? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Con. Yeah, so uh, you want to pull it up? Or no, no? keep All right, on there. All right, Con. Yeah, this is a book of additions to Esther 16 and 8. It says, and we must take care of the time to come. Uh, Salak, let me repeat that. It says, that, and we must take care for the time to come that our kingdom may be quiet and peaceable for all men, both by changing our purposes and always judging things that are evident with more equal proceeding. That's right. So when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. So that kingdom that we're seeking kingdom of Yahweh Bashem Shai here on the earth with um, you know the elect um, being part of that governing body being the you know enforcing the the all the nations to follow the ways of Yahweh Bashem Shai they're, they're going to uh, be more at peace man that's going to be the beginning of peace for Jake as well you know once the elect get beamed up into those ships you know that, that's the beginning of our peace man mm -hmm. Counts, right? Because uh, this is not the land of our rest. Mm -hmm. So, so I'm gonna get the Google uh, slack here, the blue letter Greek for uh, Greek definition for proceeding. And slack here for some reason. Not able to get this. Okay, it's like, well, for some reason, I have some technical difficulties here. Uh, with blue letter for, with the sound. I'm not sure if it's putting it out. But it says, Ekpor Yuam. It's like, yeah. Ekpor Yumahi. Ekpor Yumahi. Ekpor Yumahi. It's like, yeah. And it uh, goes into uh, to go forth, go out, to depart. Okay. It says to come forth, to issue, to proceed. Right? It says to. So, uh, also saying to depart, to be discharged, proceed, project. Okay, it's like, yeah. So, uh, yeah, exactly. Both by changing our purposes and always judging things that are evident with more equal proceedings, right? So, being able to become righteous judges, you know, that's why we're doing this work. Because, you know, trying to become shaped, you know, being, being uh, you know, so we can become priests and judges in, in the kingdom to come. You know, so we're trying to, you know, definitely sharpen up and be uh, trained, if you will, you know, trying to go through this course of, of uh, you know, 
trying to uphold the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. So when, you know, Adwan Ratazaf, so if we be of that number, okay, while, the, you know, the hopeful elect, of course, starting with the elder apostles of great Muslim on down, when we have, if, if we be of that number to have the law, statutes, and commandments written in our inward parts that we can never go off, thus we'll be able to teach. Yeah, we're already what, servants right now of Yahweh Bashmi al Shah. Uh, we're, we're looking to be in the kingdom to where we no longer have to serve Esau of Edom, no more have to work these these jobs that that do nothing but uh, vex us, you know, just to uh, survive, try to provide our, our daily bread. But we're looking to serve Yahweh Bashmi al Shah on a much higher level, you know, mm -hmm. to change our purpose to where we're we're only solely um, purpose is, is to serve. The, the master of the universe, right? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Yep, that's right. So now just going into that, of course, uh, going, going to run through a number of videos, you know, protests, okay, again, going into these costs of living, the failing economies, these different quote-unquote passes, and, uh, you know, QR codes and so on and so forth, these things, that, that uh, the digital passes, all right, that thing for that, you know, for the jump shot, all right, for the for the thingy thing, you know, um, it's all it's all related to each other, so just different um, activities and things that are taking place around the world. All right, so I'll just run through it real quick. This is over in Belgium. Okay, so got Belgium there. Okay, this is, uh, I believe in the Netherlands. Okay, farmers protesting. All right, because uh, yeah, of course, with what's going on in that aspect of, uh, you know, of the world. Oh, get a better view of that. They're letting out there protesting with tractors. Trucks, tractors. So that famine, it's gonna come heavy and it's gonna hurt. And I recently saw, uh, I believe it was down in Australia possibly. I, I wanna say it was in Australia where a head of lettuce was like $12. Yeah, of course, uh, you know, give or take the the differential in 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 dollar, you know, dollar amounts. But yeah, it's it was eleven ninety nine over there. So, yeah, over here in London. We're protesting, look at that big band over there. Yeah, so taking place all throughout the world. You got London over there, the UK. Okay, so you got Italy right here. And you got your average person down here in Babylon, man. The average Babylonian just thinks that somehow things are just magically going to go back to normal. And they think that this uh, economy is just going to uh, balance itself back out. Mm -hmm. Next week, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they have no clue of what's going on around them uh, and the state that uh, the agriculture and food um, is in right now, or even oil and things of that nature now, to where it's only going to increase that. Yep. Okay. That's right, man. So they think it's not just magically gonna change, but now they got a lot of people living in that house of mirth spirit still. That's right, man. Especially because it's summer right now, man. You know, they're looking to just chase that the you know summer day in the sun, man, having fun. But uh, just like uh, they've been talking about, man, you, they they even had an operation dark winter. But hey, man, through the spirit, you know, we feel like this uh, winter things are gonna get real heavy out here, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. Yeah, this is that Minister of Health over here in Italy. Again, those people that are unworthily placed in, in authority, man. You got right here, Canada. How many more booths this shot? How many more? Yeah. 
you got that devil Trudeau coming down a lot of mandates, a lot of things taking place over there. <laughs> Babylonians, they're all about the Kool-Aid. You know, they got three, four cups of it, man. And uh, three cups and counting. They're, 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 they're almost ready for that, that chip with no dip, man. Yep. That's right. That's right, man. So, yep. And, of course, with the, uh, with now, is it, that uh, acceptable age, if you will, right? Okay. It, it's, you know, they just basically knocked it down to, We'll, we'll just say youngins, younger and younger. The uh, age, age, uh, you know, where where you can start taking that thingy thing, you know, get that jump shot, man. Yeah, it's, it's uh, yeah, we know where it's at now, okay. So uh, yeah, pretty soon you're gonna start to see the effects on it on the youngins. All right, so I'll just put it that way, you know. Uh, you know, this is another one coming out of, uh, I believe Poland. Yeah, I believe this is Warsaw, Poland, if I'm not mistaken. So let's take a look here. Pretty much get the point. All right. People are upset, man. They're and they, uh, you know, starting to lose lose hope, lose faith in in their uh, local governments, man, and their ability to maintain, you know, maintain for them, man, because they're starting to see, you know, inflation. They're starting to see resources become diminished, limited, you know. Of course, the price of gas throughout the world, so on and so forth, man. Of course, everyone's, you know. The tensions, military tensions, okay, so on and so forth, man. So we're seeing a lot of things that are taking place that are having a big effect on the people, on the masses. It's like, yeah. So let me move over here now. This is, uh, I believe this is Austria right here. right there they're protesting and let's go over to finally take it to Germany okay so this is kind of a fast okay, yeah. so you got a lot of different people from a lot of different areas you know over there Forum. Yep. And uh, you know, these people that they know who the secret council of the wicked is, man. Mm -hmm. The 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 wicked have been revealed through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the prophets. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, these people know who who to rise up against, man. You got Satan rising up against Satan there, man. Mm -hmm. But point being is that the uh, you know that the beast shall hate the whore. Mm -hmm. That's right. So yeah, this is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 1 and verse 2. It says, O Lord, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, how long shall I cry, and thou wilt not hear? Even cry out unto thee of violence, and thou wilt not save. And we're going to continue to see that violence ramp up. Okay, but everything has to be done to, to, to its absolute fulfillment, you know, till the Heavenly Father has all things done to, to the fulfillment, right? Okay, as Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Has uh, you know stated you know with this word and and with the sacrifice of the only begotten Son Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, okay, all these things must take place, man. These prophecies have to be fulfilled before the return of our Lord and Savior. 
Okay, so we will see these perilous times, these dangerous, evil times. Okay, so it says, uh, verse 3, it says, Why dost thou show me iniquity and cause me to behold grievance? For spoiling and violence are before me, and there are that raise up strife and contention. Right, and there's a lot of these people who, again, these these different administrations, if you will, these governmental bodies and powers, quote unquote. Okay, they're they're gonna do these things to sow discord, create contention, if you will, and create um, you know that disagreement amongst you know households and, and amongst mass you know numbers of, of people, and ultimately they're looking to uh, you know stir up the pot, if you will. And, but it's all being done again through the through the powers of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Because ultimately this is prophecy. This must take place. And uh finish up here in Habakkuk 104 says, Therefore the law is slacked, and judgment doth never go forth, for the wicked doth compass about the righteous. Therefore, wrong judgment proceedeth. That's right, man. So the the uh powers that be the, the authoritative figures, if you will, okay. Are, are continuously coming up against the righteous and who's the righteous those who follow the law statutes and commandments the ways and are the believers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the right. tribes of Israel okay so, starting with the hopeful elect so now you see the wicked you know Esau of Edom back in power you know through the renaissance and the revival uh, of his uh, rulership and now he has he's established his own law of the lands now he's in control and and his law, his constitution, his uh, agenda that he pushes forth goes against the, the laws of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and the law of our people. The mm -hmm. law that was given by, by Moses unto our people to separate us as a nation from amongst all the heathen. So now our, our laws, everything is done away with, you know, Christians, Christianity, they try to teach you that the, the law, the old law is done away with. You know, things like that, promoting their, uh, you know, their white Jesus character and, you know, trying to uh, do away with the law, man. You know, not teaching um, what they should be teaching according to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. But right. we know that's all been put in place from Esau of Edom, you know, to, uh, to leave our people uh, without power, you know, mm -hmm. to um, have them in that, that uh, plantation Christianity mindset. And to keep them in captivity, keep them in chains of darkness and their minds uh, chained, you know, mm -hmm. uh, more so. You know, we know that it's a punishment, though, for our people going off. Mm -hmm. oh, that's right, man. And you start to see this. Now, slide over, wrap it up here with this uh, couple, a little, uh, little quote unquote pride event that uh, took place. And, uh, you know, even these things that are these, you know, violence and things like that they're going to take place um you know here in the last end of of this month as things wrap up here and you know, this was out of uh new york i believe washington Slovakia. this is washington park i believe yeah washington square park in new york or reportedly there was uh, either some explosives some type of fireworks or possible gunshots that went off Jake there, uh, damn, uh, alphabet, uh, the, the alphabet soup, alphabet mm -hmm. parade, man, you know, yeah, but you see, uh, uh it's heavy judgment, man, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is making it known that he does not approve, mm hmm that's right, there's another look at it from a different angle. And uh, again, yeah, you see a lot of Jakes, see a lot of the tribes, uh, people of the tribes, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans up in here.
So imagine th when things really get ramp up and, and start to get crazy, man. There's going to be a lot of things that, a lot of deletions, a lot of judgment that's going to be handed out by Yahweh Hashem Now this is Proverbs chapter 6, you know, speaking again of that pride month, right? Okay, I'm very proud. Well, this is what, we're going to speak on that pride, right? This is proud, and then let the scriptures speak on that pride. This is Proverbs 6 and 16. It says, these six things doth the Lord, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look. Right? So, a proud look. We're talking about that pride. Well, the Lord hates that. A proud look. There's a lying tongue and hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false, a, it's like a, a false witness that speaketh lies. And he that soweth discord among brethren. So, right, so all these things, okay, how, how, what they have in common, right? They have they, this part of this agenda, okay? Them pushing, you know, that, that alphabet soup, you know, uh, uh, ideology, you know, on our people and whatnot, okay? On the indoctrinating the youngsters and whatnot, so on and so forth, all right? Everything that, you know, all of those have, have a connection, okay, with these things that the Lord hates, okay? So a proud look, right? That pride month, right? A lying tongue, you know, coming against the ways of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, okay? And lying to one another uh, about that, man, you know? And, and especially those of the tribes, man, you know? And, and they're trying to push the acceptance of these things, man. You know, hands that shed innocent blood, right? Because, you know, they're they're going to be found guilty, man. They, they're them spreading that type of ideology, that those philosophies, man, all throughout the world, Okay? They got, you know, Esau of Edom, the so-called white man, and all these other, you know, um, wicked heathen, man, and all these other wicked nations that push this, man. They got blood on their hands. Um, but this is, can also be applied to the curses of Deuteronomy 28 that our people are under, you know. Them, uh, you know, having an evil eye towards their brethren, you know, speaking lies, speaking, uh, you know, being adulterous, you know. Um, the woman coming against her husband, you know, all these things that have been promoted here in Babylon, part of the curses that our people are under, you know, killing each other, uh, you know, all this gang violence, uh, you know, all, all sorts of madness, man, you know, killing each other uh, with, you know, drugs, different things like that, man. Mm -hmm, that's right. And it says, in heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, right? So what's more wicked? You know, a mind that's devising these types of, of acts of wickedness, man. That's right, man. Right? Abominations. Got, yeah, you got people killing, taking out their whole families, you know? Uh, and they try to uh, take themselves out, you know? Murder, suicides, things like that, man. And, you know, that's because our, our people are gone, man. You know, they, they've completely uh, got swallowed up by Esau of Edom's uh, wickedness and... You know, that's why we're looking to see that salvation starting with the elect and, you know, for our, our bodies to be changed, right? You know, and we're, we're tired of being amongst the, the wickedness of, of these people. Yeah, man, these wicked imaginations, man, uh, you know, that type of, you know, you could be what you want to be, you know, you want to be this one day and that the other. You want to cut off your rod. You want to, you know, uh, create, you know, you want to, yeah, so on and so forth. We get, you know, that lasciviousness. All right, and uh, you know, people acting on the lust of their flesh, man. You know, so on and so forth, man. All right, that uh, ABC agenda, man. You know, that's wicked. All right, feet that be swift in running to mischief. Yeah, man. So they're continuously going after to after to commit wickedness, man. To continue to be enticed by sin, you know, and entice others because they have pleasures. They're watching others go off as well, and so they're quick to do it, man, because they have no fear of Yahweh Shimei Al Shai. Yeah, that's right, man. I remember a while back when they had that uh, that social media trend, uh, devious licks, you know, trying to get some uh, social media clout by who who can, uh, you know, who could be the most grimy, who, you know, just proud of, of their evil, man, you know? That's right. That's right, man. Verse 19 says, A false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. That's right, man. So continuously sowing discord amongst our people, man. All right, these these philosophies of, of Esau of Edom, man, and all the wickedness thereof, man. You know that that's not of our heritage. That's not of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, man. You know that that's that's gonna create discord, okay, amongst households and amongst brethren. 
you know, and that uh, also goes into uh, covetousness, you know. Yeah, covetousness. Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of. And uh, that's uh, a lot of our people, you know. Uh, they look at each other and then, they, you know, with that jealous eye to where they want something that their uh, their br their neighbor, their brother has, and they'll they'll lie on them, they'll do whatever, they they'll seek to uh, uh, obtain what they have, you know. God. Now, so we'll wrap it up here in Isaiah 59, start at verse 3. It says, For your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies, your tongue hath muttered perverseness. None calleth for justice, nor any pleadeth for truth. They trust at vanity and speak lies. They conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. There are many of our people, again, two-thirds of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, Still stuck in that do as thou wilt spirit. Still stuck here in Babylon, America, spiritually and mentally. And verse 5 says, They hatch cockatrice eggs, which you're referring to a viper, right? It's a serpent. And they hatch cockatrice's eggs and weave the spider's web. And many of our own people continue to be, uh, become entangled in these webs, man. The wickedness of the world. The ways of, of that are not of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's right. A lot of them are selling their soul and uh, working for Esau of Edom, you know, pushing forth uh, wickedness, you know, teaching lies, uh, speaking things they ought not, malice that must be stopped. But point being is that they, um, you know, they're, they're weaving this uh, spider's web, you know, blind, leaders of the blind, you know, and uh, they hatch cockatrice's eggs. So they're out here, um, you know, they're there of their father, the devil, man. You know, just as Yahweh I said, man. Mm -hmm, that's right. As uh, continuing on, I say, uh, he that eateth of their eggs dieth. So, again, the blind lean the blind. So they're selling lies and and teaching things they ought not to where they're leading our people into captivity. They're leading them to death by teaching them these lies and accepting, uh, you know, the the wickedness that Esau promotes and and you know, walking alongside them, uh, you know, trying to uh, um, you know. Uh, serve their their master, their daddy Esau, man, as opposed to serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know they don't plead for the truth. They don't do this work, man. They don't they don't uh, try to teach the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They're not fighting for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, so he's not going to fight for you. You know we have to be doing everything we can to um, to plead to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and to compel our people to come in, calling for justice, and that's going to come by way of of the judgment of the Lord. And a lot of our people they just won't listen, man. That's right. Isaiah 59 and 5 continues. It says, He that eateth of their eggs dieth, and that which is crushed breaketh out into a viper. Their webs shall not become garments, neither shall they cover themselves with their works. Their works are works of iniquity, and the act of violence is in their hands. Mm -hmm. Amen. So their works are, are yeah, not. What did uh, Yahweh Shai say? This generation of vipers. <laughs> mm hmm. Kind of. Right, man. And, uh, you know, that's how you know this is uh, the last generation, you know, Generation Z. And, uh, you know, they're, a lot of our people are, are condemned, you know, to their number to the sword, but. Uh, it was uh, Matthew 23 and 33. It says, uh, Ye serpents, ye generation of vipers. How can ye escape the damnation of hell? Mm -hmm. That's right, man. So there's no, no escaping, man. If you're numbered to the sword, if you're numbered to the pit, man, if you're numbered to the grave, you know, that's that's it. That's exactly. it, man. Y'all Bashim Yahweh has got you written down. And, and right. The workers of iniquity, they're, they're going to, um, you know, succumb to their own devices, but. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. So the works are of iniquity, sin upon sin. All right, the act of violence is in their hands. This very violent culture, man, that we're a part of, and that we unfortunately have to had to be uh, brought up in. However, we have been given this truth, and therefore we have hope and faith and everlasting life, immortality, and the kingdom to come. Isaiah fifty nine and seven says, "Their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity." Wasting and destruction are in their paths. That's right, man. So our people are, are continuously, again, coming up against each other, man. Having that evil eye against his, against his brother. 
and you know there are they're quick to run to do evil you know if, if it's an ill-gotten gain you know um you know so on and so forth man you know they are quick to to shed innocent blood to to entice each other to go off in sin and uh, ultimately to you know make each other defiled pollute each other you know so on and so forth you know so their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity again sin upon sin finish up here in Isaiah 59 and 8 says the way of peace they know not and there is no judgment in their goings they Salakia, they have made them crooked paths whosoever goeth therein shall not know peace that's right man so the way of peace they know not no they're they're seeking clout they're seeking you know to become a, they want to be thugs they want or they would just want to you know be able to do as again that do as thou wilt alistair crowley spirit man they don't want to be judged you know so on and so forth man they 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 hate judgment because they don't understand it you know so yeah there's no judgment in their goings man you know they're following that crooked path you know the broad path that leads to destruction as opposed to the straight and narrow path okay that we're trying to walk you know to the straight gate that lead to life all right so you know many of our people the two-thirds and, and many of the world yeah you just will never uh, come to the understanding of this so that's why this there's a wisdom knowledge and understanding is a gift and that starts with the fear of Yahweh Bashi Miao Shai. Uh, and I got a quick uh, precept just to uh, add to that. This is uh, Hosea 4 and 1. Hear the word of the Lord Yahweh, ye children of Israel. For the Adawan Yahweh hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, no mercy, nor knowledge of the Most High in the land. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. So he has a controversy with our people and with the inhabitants of the land man so he has a uh, you know judgment will start in the house of israel so you already see jake getting judged out here man heavily but um and that's because there's no truth nor mercy or any knowledge of the most high in the land mm -hmm. so that's the importance of uh, uh really um you know seeking to uh um increase in the spirit you know seeking to to build through the spirit and you know we're we're trying to uh escape you know uh babylon man not being partakers of her sins and uh we have to continue to uh take heed and to uh you know continue to uh endure man mm -hmm. god god that's right Does he get anything else like yeah? Uh, out. All right, all right, beautiful. Also, the water uh, to the Akim and the Aqua brothers and sisters tuned in, and uh, Lord willing, I don't want to this out. This lesson was edifying and comforting to the hopeful elect of Israel. And close this out, bro. Yeah, go ahead. Huh? All right, yeah. so we're gonna close out uh, by giving all honor, glory, and praises unto our power. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rokak Wadash. Once again, we want to give double honor to the head apostles, to the elders, bishops, and teachers of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well across the four winds with sound doctrine to the like-minded brothers the akim who are under the umbrella pushing this truth and sincerity all in one accord risking lives and freedoms to do so shalom shalom peace be unto you and your households peace and salutations to the hopeful elect the tabernacle of david and to the akim and the aqua who are you know continuing to uh push and uh try to build on their faith and are trying to do their best in the eyes of yahweh shim yahweh shai i don't want to design this lesson was edifying comforting and exhorting Y'all bash him, y'all shy, broke a thumb. Y'all bash him, y'all shy, broke a thumb. Put a curse on Babylon. Abad Babal, Abad Babal, Abad Babal. DTA, soon. Real soon. Quam Yasharala. Quam Yasharala. Shalom.